Hello everyone, today I'm going to test to see how resin can be used to smooth 3D prints and then using that with a combination of sanding, priming, and painting how we can get the best results with the minimum amount of work. Today I'll be trying to see how using UV resin to smooth 3D prints actually looks compared to one, not using anything and just using straight primer and paint, two, basic sanding primer and paint and UV resin with primer and paint after. I'll be using 180 grit sandpaper to knock down the back of this Iron Man hand and I'll leave one section completely untouched. Pri next section will be sanded, primed and painted. The next section, this section will be UV resin uh, some, as you were uh, broken down with 180 grit and then UV resin and then primed in paint and I'll leave one section that I just put UV resin on only with no sanding at all just to see how it looks and to see if we need to actually go uh, so far with our sanding and priming so let's see so I've sanded with 180 grit just the middle section of this Iron Man palm or hand and so on this side I'm going to do resin and this side I'm just going to do prime and paint so after the resin, I will uh, prime and paint it again just to see the difference and see if it's even worth sanding and if we can just get away with UV, using UV resin, curing it, and then prime and painting without a lot of extra sanding compared to the quality across the spectrum here. I've just applied the UV resin from the, this bottle with a sponge brush onto this side and I can already starting to feel it stiffen up after a few minutes of trying to get it a nice even coat. So I'm going to leave this out in the sun because I don't have a UV cure station here. I'm going to leave this out in the sun for a few hours and then we'll come back and see how it looks. So I've let the uh, resin sit out in the sun for about an hour and a half and it's just a little bit tacky to the touch. But you can still see it looks a lot more glossy obviously than uh, the spot that was just sanded. And I think it will be interesting to sand this down. I'll use the same grit across both sides for the next level of sanding. And then uh, spray some pr primer paint, sand one more time with higher grit, and then one more layer of final paint and just see how it looks. A little interesting note, the little sponge brush I used earlier almost completely dis uh, disintegrated by the time I got it into we'll go wash it out. It uh, just it fell apart in my fingertips. So be careful with what you're using if you're gonna be using UV resin. Uh, it will probably destroy certain types of plastic and I think that's the principle that is used on this type of process. So I'll let this cure for a few more hours. Oop, quite wet there and then uh, I'll get back to you. So the resin is dried after a few more hours. Uh, this is the half that actually has the resin on it. You can see it's very shiny on this side and uh, unsanded, unresined at all on this side. This is just sanded with uh, 220 and then 320 because uh, after the resin dried I sanded just this section, this is the middle section here to see what would happen. So you can see that this is a little bit rougher. You can see more of the plastic and I can feel the lines underneath the fingernails. But under the resin side, it's already starting to feel like maybe a 400, 500 grit sanding, maybe even a thousand. In some spots, I hit this section with 320 just now. Uh, so this is raw with resin. This is just raw without resin, sanded like normal, and then resin with sanding. So I'm going to prime it and we'll see how the results look after that and then we'll paint it. I might have to do another sanding. So stay tuned, we'll see how this works out. So I just hit it with a uh, 320, I believe, grit on to the sanded areas that we're testing and uh, dried it off, got all the particles off as best I could and hit it with one th very thin coat of primer filler. This is meant to actually fill in the cracks a little bit and then we'll sand it down using uh, 320 and go up to, I'd say 500, just to see how the sanding goes. I'm gonna sand everything like I normally would, so everything will be hit with the sander now, once the primer's on. 
<clears throat> and you can already see there's a stand out here um, on the sanded side between these two you can see that the part that did not get resin has some cracks in it and the part that did get resin already looks like a sanded piece with the new primer on there so I'm, I'm starting to believe that the resin is going to make sanding a lot easier and uh, be part of my workflow going forward to try to smooth out 3D printed parts. And the two sides that did not get sanded at all before priming, they look as, exactly as you expect them to. So I'll let this dry and then we'll hit it with some sanding. I've allowed the uh, primer to dry, give it about an hour and a half. I just got a little impatient and then I went ahead and hit it with some 320 grit from this line here down. The, above that line has absolutely no sanding at any point during this entire thing except, well, so it's kind of like a grid. But the bottom half is sanded with 320 and then 500 and then I wet sanded it with 500 all across the bottom half there. So you can obviously see a standout. This is side is resin and sanded, uh, sanded primer. This side is not sanded, no resin. And this side here is resin sanded with primer sanded. And this is no resin, sanded, primered, then sanded. So you can already see a standout of what's going on. You can see the, the straight line of where the resin was applied and the sanding. It's already looking a lot smoother and it made it a lot easier to sand. So I'm thinking that the resin is actually going to be a very helpful workflow. So stay tuned and I'm going to put some uh, paint on this on the next coat and we'll let this dry out and look forward to the final results. So now the moment of truth here. I just painted it about 10 minutes ago and let's look at it objectively. Let's zoom in a little bit here. This is the completely unsanded side, it was never sanded uh, except for the primer. So no sanding, then uh, primer, then sanding, then paint. You could definitely sell, still see all the lines, pretty much every single line. On this side, this is resin, not sanded, then primed, then sanded, and then painted. Still some artifacting. Now the middle is where the difference would be. So in the middle is where I sanded all you know, I sanded just the middle two knuckles basically down the middle. And then you can see in the light how it changes from very very even and then a little bit more scattered right about there. That was all sanded right there. This was resin and sanded everything I could do to make it beautiful. And you can definitely see the difference. Using the resin made it a lot easier to get to this very shiny polish. And so I think I will add it to my workflow and um, sand the pieces down, apply a thin coat of resin, allow it to cure in the sun or with a UV light sand that down and then apply primer sand it again and then paint this is one coat of paint imagine if I had actually wet sanded the entire thing it would look great and for reference this is a Tron XY X1 3d printer printed at 0.25 layer height a very cheap printer you can see how cheap it looks on the inside this is a very bad printer a hundred and ten dollar machine I printed this piece and it looks that good once you apply some UV resin. For reference, this is a piece of the bicep that I printed off of a CR10 at 0.2 layer heights, very fine layer height, and then I sanded it all the way up to 500 dry, then primed it, sanded it from 500 up to 800 dry, painted it, and then did a wet sanding of the paint and then applied a second coat and this is what a, that process looks like and that's just for this little tiny piece it's beautiful but you can see that this was already a higher quality print than that piece was and that took all that work to get there maybe if I'd applied resin to this it would have been a lot faster 
So come to your own conclusions, test it out for yourself and see what you think. So going forward, I think I'll use resin when I really want a very nice shiny part very quickly. You can see those layer lines kind of disappear. Nice reflection and then layer lines. And then of course, when you get over here, it's just completely scattered. So I think this was a great little test of what we can do with just rattle cans. All right, so if you like this kind of content, uh, subscribe, like the videos, and uh, comment if you have anything you'd like to say.